So David, is it okay for you to add the spiritual tiredness of men and God and to God as well? What is going on? The Lord shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive, bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Because of Emmanuel, people that walked in the darkness will see the will see great light. They that live in the land of the shadow of darkness will have light shine on them. For for unto us a, a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Eternal Father, the Prince of Peace. His royal power will continue to grow. His kingdom will always be at peace. He will rule as David's successor, basing his power on the right thing to do and justice for all from now until the end of time. The Lord Almighty is determined to do all this. In the sixth month, in a quaint little town of Galilee, named Nazareth, God sent Gabriel to a virgin named Mary. Mary was engaged to a cool carpenter named Joseph. Joseph was a descendant of King David, and the Gabriel said to Mary, How's it going, Mary? The Lord sent me. He wanted you to know that he loves you and he was he and he is always with you. Mary, you are blessed in the highest word. Mary was startled and she wondered if Gabriel was feeling okay. She decided to remain calm and tried to figure out what Gabriel's words meant. Oh, Mary, Mary, please, please do not be afraid. God just loves you and your commitment to him. He is so proud of you. You are highly favored by God. You will, con you will conceive a child and give birth to a son. You shall name him Jesus. He will be great. He will be great. He will be a great heal. He will be great and will be called the, the son of the most high and the Lord will give him the throne of his father David and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. Of his kingdom there will be no end. Are you crazy? How can this be? I have no husband. Mary, take a seat and I know what I am sharing may be hard to digest but know that you are unique and special as such the Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. The child you shall bear shall be called the son of God. And guess what? Your cousin Elizabeth, who has been having trouble, who's had trouble having a baby, has finally conceived a child. You see with God anything possible. What I am sharing, what I am sharing is a blessing. Tell me now that you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. This is extraordinary. I am a servant and this but cycle of the Lord, and he has bestowed this blessing on me. Behold, I am the headmaid of the Lord.
initial order went out for Caesar Augustus that all over the world would be taxed. And the tax was first made by the governor of Syria. All the people had to enroll in their own city. Joseph left Nazareth in Galilee, headed to jo Judea, then to the city of David, because he was of the house and lineage of David. He went there to register with Mary, who agreed to marry him and was expecting a child. Look, Mary, I see the light of David's city. Thank you, Lord. I can hardly take another step. Mary, I know this journey has not been easy. We are coming up to an end. You should, you should be able to rest soon. I will get you a room. Uh, who's there? Who's there? Uh, my wife and I are looking to stay at your inn. What can you pay? We are poor people, sir. We? I have no room for the likes of you. This is a high class establishment. Is there another inn, sir? Please? Try over there. They may take you in. Come, Mary, this must be the place. The inn's full. There is no lodging to be had. I beg you, sir. My wife is about to give birth. Wow, this woman is about to give birth. There must be something we could do for this poor woman. Oh, I know, I know. Come, we'll put you in the stable. It isn't much, but it is warm and dry. I really hope this will do, as this is all we have to offer. Will this do? <laughs> Like any other mother to be, Mary must have been nervous and scared. Can you imagine giving birth for the first time in the days of her illness? Mary was loved and supported. Mary brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in a swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him at the end. It is written in the book of Isaiah, Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise before you and the glory will be seen unto you. And the nation shall come to your light and the kings to the brightness of your rising. It is so cold out tonight. It sure is. It is freezing. Who is going to watch tonight? Ebenezer, can you do it? All right, I will do it. The rest of you get some sleep. Gabriel appeared amongst the shepherds that were abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them. They were not, they were so afraid. I think these shepherds were very afraid as they have not seen anything like Gabriel before. Look, what's that? Dear Lord, have mercy on us. Heaven defend us. It's a ghost. It's a demon. Fear not, for behold, I will wait. 
Fear not, for behold, I will bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign on you. Ye shall find babe wrapped in swaddle and clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth and good will all people. And it came to pass, as the angels disappeared as quickly as they appeared, the shepherds said to one another, Goodness gracious, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this event which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. Messiah is born. Did you hear the host of angels? I have never seen anything like this before, never. The good news is that the Messiah is born. Praise the Lord! Lying in a stable near Bethlehem. Let us go to Bethlehem immediately and see this event that has come to pass, that the Lord has made known to us. We cannot wait. We must not wait. We must meet this baby. The shepherds were so excited. They made haste to find baby Jesus. And just as Gabriel had shared, they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. The shepherds shared the news with everyone they encountered and knew. The birth was wondrous and everyone who thought and talked about the birth for days. Everyone who heard was in awe. Mary, on the other hand, kept all her thoughts and questions to herself. She pondered them in her heart, and shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was unto them. Bethlehem of Judea. This was during the rule of King Herod. Wise men came from the east to visit Jerusalem. They followed a star so they could worship the newborn. The wise men followed the star until it rested over the place where the child was lying in the manger. When they found the baby, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. When Herod the king heard about the greatness of baby Jesus, he was troubled and all G Jerusalem with him. He gathered all his chief priests and scribes together. He demanded of them all. Where was this king of the Jews born? 
in Bethlehem of Judea, as it was written by the prophet, in Bethlehem, the land of Judea, out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule the people of Israel. What time did this star appear? Go, all of you to Bethlehem, hurry. Go search diligently for this young child. And when you have found him, bring me the word that I too may come and worship him. For the kings. And when they came to the location, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and fell on their knees and worshipped him. They immediately opened their treasures. They presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Joseph of Joseph, make hay. Arise and take the young child and his mother to flee and flee into Egypt and stay there until I bring you word. King Herod will sink the young child to destroy him. After being warned in that in a dream that they should not return to Herod, Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus departed into their own country, making taking a route that was safe to travel. Joseph took the young child and his mother by night. They departed into Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. Joseph was the was a diligent servant of the Lord. He did so because his acts had fulfilled the spoken word of the Lord, as shared by the prophet, out of Egypt I called my son. And when the days of purification according to the laws of Moses were accomplished, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to Jerusalem to, Jerusalem to present him to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice, as is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name is Simeon. Simeon was just a devout. He was religiously waiting on the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed to Simeon by the Holy Spirit that before he dies, he will see the Lord's Son, Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, as were Joseph and Mary brought their son Jesus to do what is customary by law. Simeon took him in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for the fact of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Behold, this child is set for the fall and the rising of many in Israel. He will save us from ourselves.
Amen. 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 Amen.